Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Simple for 4. So today, guys, we are here to discuss the weekend games. Now, I actually do have some midweek games to discuss. So we're going to go ahead and discuss about the midweek games. We'll also discuss about the weekend games as well. So if you're new on here, uh, consider hitting that like button. And um, comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. And also hit the subscribe button as well. Um, and yeah, like I said, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started. There will be timestamp description below for you guys' convenience, guys. Um, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and start with the first game we have here, guys. It is the Milan Derby. Now, I think the Milan Derby is coming at a really, really good time for both teams here. Because, well, actually, maybe a bad time for both teams. Because of the fact of how both teams are playing at the moment. AC Milan, for me, have just looked out of place at the moment. Defensively, looked, they look terrible. You know, having two draws, two back-to-back, -back, two two draws against Milan. Sorry, against Roma. And Lecce, respectively, is a bit in, is a bit sad. And Inter as well, you know, coming off a 1-0 win over Hellas Verona and 1-0 win over Napoli. So, I would say, and then they also, I think they tied a 2-2 game against um, Mons, I believe. So, and I think form-wise, I think Inter is definitely coming into this in the better shape. I think form-wise, Inter is definitely in the better team. Um, And AC Milan, they're just struggling with injuries, you know. There's so many injuries to this team. And that's... My concern with AC Milan is the amount of injuries they have. So let's go with the players. Let's go look at the players that are going to be available for tomorrow, guys. And we're going to also look at the predicted 11. So as you guys can see, um, as you guys can see right here, uh, let me show you guys the lineup right here. This is a lineup that we expect to see. So we expect to see uh, Dumfries, Martinez, uh, Jacko, Gallardini, Jalonau, Mkhitaryan, DeMarco, Bastoni, Acerbe, Scrinio, Onana. And for AC Milan, Leo, Giroud, Diaz, Salamakers, Benacer, Calabria, Tamori, Kalalu, Hernandez, and and obviously Tetorusino. You guys can see right here, guys, AC Milan have the more injuries compared to Inter Milan. Ubrazovic, Lukaku, Handanovic, Ibrahimovic, Krunic, Magna, Ambalo, Rebic, Florenzi. So it's going to be a very good game, guys. I think this will be a high-scoring game. I don't think this will be a close game. Uh, um, I mean, this will definitely, I mean, let me rephrase. I think this will be a close game. And I think it'll be very close. I think Inter is going to win, though, just because of the fact that I just feel like, for me, Inter is coming into this in better form. And I feel with AC Milan, they're just struggling at the moment defensively. I think they just look bad at the moment, and I've just not been convinced. And I'm going to go with Inter Milan to win two goals to one in the Coppa Italia. So this is the final, and there will be a post-match reaction stream, by the way, guys, so tomorrow. And so um, it will be interesting to see, discuss about that. Moving on to the next game we have, it is Leipzig versus Bayern Munich, guys. Leipzig versus Bayern Munich. Now, coming into this game, guys, I think it's going to be very interesting to see how Bayern approaches this one because, obviously, they're coming off the huge winter break. And um, I just think that, for me, for Bayern in this game in particular, we, we know the quality that they have. You know, they still have the likes of Muller. That's still very good. Then, obviously, Kinsey Coman, Musiello has been really, really a standout player. And then, obviously, for Leipzig, they've been great. And Kunku has been on fire this season. Uh, Timo Warner as well. And then obviously Hydera. And then obviously the the linked player. I forgot what his name is. That's CDM. Um, who's that guy's name? He's been linked to Byron repeatedly in the past. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, lineups. Ah, it's not. It's not Campo. Where is it? It's um. I think it's um. Shagler, no. Is he not even in the squad list? No, wait, what? Hold up. Players, let me see. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Conrad Limer. That's the guy I was talking about. He's been linked to Byron uh, repeatedly in the past. Um, and obviously, they did get Caden Clark um, from, which is really nice, a, a purchase there. And yeah, I just think for me, um, for Leipzig, man, they're just attacking wise really good. Defensively, they're very, very bad, though. I think defensively is where my biggest issue is with this team. And obviously, I think the fact that, you know, uh, Gulashi is going to be out for this game and also Neuer is going to be out for this game is going to make things interesting in the goalkeeper department. Um, and obviously, you know, uh, Vardio is going to be a standout player. Um, I think it's going to be a very difficult game. I, I would have gone with Bayern to win this game, but because of the fact it's like the winter break, I think they're going to not be as gear sharp as they normally would be. I do think this would be a good draw, though. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw for this one, guys. I was originally going to go for a 1-1, but typically, guys, Bayern and Leipzig, they're high-scoring teams. And so, I'm going to go with the 2-2 draw, guys, on this occasion. Okay. So, 
Let's go ahead and move on to the next game. The next game we have is Man City versus Spurs, guys. Man City versus Spurs. Now, I think for this one, guys, I think it's going to be interesting to see how Man City approaches one after that, after that defeat to Manchester United in the um, Premier League, of course, losing to Derby. And same goes to Tottenham as well. They also lost to Derby to the rivals, um, both of which on the road, which is interesting. I think the interesting thing for this game is going to be, can Tottenham still be that bogey team for Man City? Because we know Tottenham has always been a bogey team for Man City in the years past. And we know that Tottenham has got their number. You know, I think the last couple of games, Tottenham actually beat at Manchester City. Last season, they, of course, did the double over Manchester City. My issue with Manchester City this season, I think it's just look out of form. Like, Holland's not looking great this year. KDB, he's not really been that amazing this year. And my problem with Man City is I feel like they just need they need KDB to turn up. And KDB just hasn't turned up this season. This year in particular, I might rephrase. And I just think that for me, Man City this season just look defensively. They don't look as strong defensively with Stones and Diaz out as well. And then we obviously saw how uh, Nathan Ake got spun away by Marcus Rashford. So there is a potential possibility that Ake can get dropped and we can see Emmerich Laporte take in his position. And obviously, the left back for Man City is not really good either. Sergi Gomez, I think that's that guy. It's not been great. Spurs, on the other hand, Lloris had a disaster class against Arsenal. Kane was pretty much the only good player. Son had a disaster class as well. Pretty much most of the sports players were terrible in the day. I think the only players that can have their heads held high is probably Harry Kane. And maybe Cessin, you know, maybe Cessin, you know, maybe. But regardless, guys, it's a very difficult game because I could see a draw. But I am going to go with the Man City to narrowly win this one. I think Man City will just about win this one. I'm going to go with a 1-0 win for Man City. It's going to be very close. But I just have a feeling Man City is just going to scrape this one out. Probably in the first half. And the Spurs will have a probably onslaught in the second half. And Spurs will just fall short. So I think Spurs will narrowly lose this one. Um, and yeah, th this could be the first time Man City lose three games in a row, guys. Just saying. And then finally, moving on to the penultimate game we have here. It is the Liverpool versus Chelsea, guys. I call this one the dead game because this game is dead. I I'm sorry, guys. Both teams have been horrible this season. Absolutely horrible this season. Liverpool have been a defensively shambolic. Their attack looks terrible. And Chelsea, pretty much the same could be said. Although I do think defensively they're slightly better than Liverpool. But still, it's it's crazy, man. Like, it's it's honestly like a mid-table clash. Like, look how bad these two teams have been. They're ninth and 10th, respectively. And they have the same points, too, as well. Nine, literally 28 points. And their goal difference is almost the same. Well, actually, except for well, Liverpool have a superior one with their 9-0 one over Bournemouth. But their both teams have been so mediocre this season. They've been so mediocre this season. Liverpool, Hen Henderson's been so bad this season. Uh, Kanate has been underwhelming. Allison's not even been that great this season. He's been good. I won't say he's been good, but he's not been as good as previous seasons. Chelsea, on the other hand, they just look awful. Ma Mount and Havertz have been terrible. I know Havertz scored in the last game against Crystal Palace, but regardless, this season has been really bad. Mason Mount, the same could be said. And it's a very difficult one because it's an Anfield, and you know Liverpool might have that you know Anfield thing. They might have that it push and... Mm, but I, I just think that for me, I, I just see it's a nil-nil draw. I rarely predict nil-nil draws, but I feel like this one's going to be a nil-nil draw. Both teams just don't look great. I think Liverpool will be very defensive this game. I think Chelsea will probably be the more proactive team, but I just think Chelsea will be let down by their finishing. And I just think Liverpool would just be very pragmatic and just get a draw from this game. I will say this, though. This could this could be very interesting to determine whichever team gets a Europa League spot or European spots. Because let's be real, guys. Both teams ain't getting top four this season. So, I do believe that if one of the... Because personally, for me, I think one of these two teams will get Europa League. And whichever team wins this one, puts in a great, great position to get that Europa League spot. All right. And now, finally, the last game we have. And probably the best game of the weekend, some would say. And it is the big one, guys. Man United. Arsenal versus Man United. This is a huge game for Arsenal, guys. Arsenal have been cooking this season. I did a review on the Arsenal game yesterday, so you guys can check that out. Arsenal have been amazing this season. They have been flying so high this season. Bukayo Saka, Martinelli, Odegaard has been on fire this season. Thomas Partey has been amazing too as well. Jacques has had the surge in some form. And this Arsenal team looks like no joke, man. They're looking so good at the moment. For Man United, the same could be said too. Man United has been amazing this season. Casemiro has been amazing. Bruno has been good too. Marcus Rashford has been amazing. My concern with United and Arsenal is that they both don't really have a striker. Now, as of the time of recording this video, I am recording before Man United play Crystal Palace. And it's interesting that I'm noting that because Man United, we could see two players to be suspended for the Arsenal game if Casemiro and obviously Fred pick up a yellow card in that game. So I'm going to make the assumption that they're available. 
However, by the time you guys are seeing this, they might have already been suspended. So I'm going to go ahead and do the preview as if they're there. And if they're not there, you know, it gives better chance to Arsenal, right? I think the crucial thing that's going to come down for this game is going to be determined to see which team has a more initiative. I think whichever team can play the better football in the day, because the thing with Man United is that they're going to come into this game as more of a counterattacking team. We know they're going to be playing counterattacking football against Arsenal, and we know Arsenal will be playing their possession-based football. And we saw how Arsenal got destroyed last time by Marcus Rashford. So I don't. I think Arsenal will be a bit more, a uh, uh, bit more smarter with this one. I don't think they'll be as naive as they were last time and play that high line. And this should be a good game. My issue with Arsenal, though, is that in the second half, they haven't been as good as they have been in the first half. I think for Arsenal, if they want to win this game, they need to score in the first half. Because I recently, I've not been impressed with Arsenal much in the second half. I've not been that impressed with them. So, it's a very difficult game to call. I'm going to say Arsenal will just win this game just because of the Emirates. But it's going to be very close. I could see even a draw. I wouldn't be surprised. Even United could win this. I wouldn't be surprised. But I just feel as though Arsenal is just going to win this game just because of the fact that I feel like... They're just so motivated at the moment. I just think this Arsenal team is looking really good. And this will be very important for them too, for their Premier League aspirations. So, uh, title aspirations. I am going to go with a 1-0 Arsenal win. It's going to be very close. I think this will be very close. I could see Ramsdale having another masterclass in goal. And Mike Dean is actually the referee for this game. So, that's interesting. I just feel like Arsenal will just win this game. But who knows? I could be wrong with this one. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this little preview. I remember, guys, there will be two live streams um this week for the big matches we're going to do a live reaction for Leipzig versus Bayern Munich that will be taking place on Friday and then tomorrow will be the Milan Derby reaction so hope you guys did enjoy I want you guys to comment down below your predictions also subscribe if you're new out here like to be able to enjoy comment down below your thoughts comment section below and of course please consider becoming a member of the channel um and where you can get access to member streams and member videos and all that good stuff okay anyways I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys later peace out